Time is flying by, as you know, we just, um, you know, it's only two months since we uh, finished Ramadan. You know, in no time, now we are uh, already uh, preparing ourselves for Hajj. And by the way, uh, listen until a Muslim understands the concept of Hajj. You will never appreciate it because so many people think, well, it's a once in a lifetime. You know, either they postpone that or they say, okay, tomorrow we'll do it. Tomorrow and tomorrow and go, comes in and on and in and on until finally he would have no chance either because he would run out of funds or um, he falls sick or whatever. But anyway, uh, Hajj is, uh, we have to keep in our mind that Hajj is a, a pillar of Islam and, and very significant pillar of, of Islam. You know that, what does it mean? Before I, I proceed, I, I, want to, I want you to understand what is the concept of Hajj. What does it mean, Hajj? Well, as we know, Hajj, linguistically speaking, means visitations, okay? And um, Hajj, as we know, it started a long time ago when Allah uh, says or addressed, addressed um, Ibrahim uh, with regards to this. وَأَذِّنْ فِي النَّاسِ بِالْحَجِّ يَأْتُوكَ رِجَالًا وَعَلَى كُلِّ ضَامِرٍ يَأْتِينَ مِنْ كُلِّ فَجَّ الْعَمِيقٍ And call people to come and perform Hajj. And they would respond to you coming from every corner of the world on lean um, camels or horses, whatever. In other words, um, this is an invitation uh, extended to us by the tongue of uh, the uh, prophet and messenger of Allah, uh, Abraham. So uh, Abraham said, oh Allah, how can I make people hear my voice? He said, you just, your duty is to invite them and our duty is to make them hear. And according to our prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, um, when um, Abraham made that uh, call every single human being to be or to, be, to exist later on. Allah made them hear the invitation and they said, لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهُمَّ لَبَّيْكَ In other words, every single human being that Allah foreordained that he would perform hajj, he listened to the voice of um, Abraham and, and he responded by saying, uh, اللَّهُمَّ لَبَّيْكَ Which means, Oh Allah, here I am responding to your invitation or to your call. Now, when we think of it that way, um, we know that it's our duty, it's our duty as Muslims to perform this um, pillar of Islam and we have no choice but to do it. But simply because Allah is so merciful to us, He did not impose this on us every single year. Well, as we know, prayer is imposed on us on a daily basis. We perform five daily prayers. And we have no, uh, you know, no choice but to accept that and to perform and not apply uh, whatever commands Allah uh, has already issued to uh, His slaves. And uh, like the rest of the pillars of Islam, now, uh, you find some people actually too busy to perform that. You know, I, I mean, they, they, of course, physically speaking, uh, physically and, and, and financially, they, are, um, they can do that. And yet, and yet, they uh, don't do it for one reason or another because they think they're too busy now. Uh, as one expressed it saying, well, uh, he asked actually, actually, uh, can I um, give the money to somebody else to perform it on my behalf? I said, what's wrong with you? He said, uh, I'm, well, I'm, I'm quite busy. I can't imagine, you know, when a person saying, oh, Allah, I'm too busy to, to um, obey your commands. You know what, what the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, said the meaning of that a person, if he can afford to perform hajj, and yet he does not, and yet he does not, he's going to uh, end up in, in, in hellfire. 
you know, that's why uh, the Prophet and uh, may Allah exalt his mention as well as Umar ibn Khattab said, let the, that person who can afford to perform Hajj and yet he does not, let him die as a Christian, let him die as a Jew, it, does, it makes no difference whatsoever. You understand the meaning of that. In other words, you have the funds, okay, go ahead and do it. You know, don't postpone it, for God's sake. You know, I mean, uh, listen, you don't know what's going to happen to you in the future. Well, as I said, you know, you might uh, run out of funds and you might fall sick. Then you would say, oh, I wish I did that. It's, it's a li once in a lifetime, once in a lifetime. So never, ever postpone it. But because you don't know how long you're going to live. Never mind, don't tell me you are, you are now, you are young. We have seen so many people actually dying with their children, dying in their youth, dying whichever you know, uh, age they reach. They're going to die. And uh, well, who's going to perform Hajj on your behalf? You see, think of it. It's your duty to do that. And remember, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala has given us the chance. It is again, it's once in a lifetime. But that does not mean that you can um, defer it to some future time. In that future time, you're not sure whether you're going to be um, around at that time. You see, this is very important. Remember my words. Next time, when you have the chance to perform Hajj, remember these words and do it right away. Okay? Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا